printed off the instructions to the red brick. They do not apply to this red brick that I can tell. I cannot change the lipo protection. I cannot change the brake mode. I can't factor reset it. So this, these instructions on Hobby King, on the Hobby King website, don't apply to this. I took the prop off because last time it started up when I moved the throttle when I was trying to program it and I don't want to lose a finger. Running it without the prop, it's already eight, 108. I also bought it in fared, no touch uh, temperature gauge. It is at 50%, 108. It's a full throttle. It's staying about 107. That's without a prop. We'll put the prop on there and see. I noticed before it would be kind of unresponsive, but after f probably 30 minutes of running this uh, over the past two videos, it seems to be working okay. I mean, it's at 140 degrees. That's, I don't know if that's uh, <laughs> normal for this or what, but. Very hot to the touch. As you can see in my testing, it becomes extremely warm, and probably why so many people are having such a high failure rate with these. I think this is about a, a 20 amp. ESC that they slapped a 30 amp label on. I, I don't know, but this will not be flying on my Bixler. I have a Exceed RC 40 amp that I can put on here and I guarantee you that thing won't even become warm. I have a 30 amp motor that I've ran that Exceed RC 40 amp ESC on and it didn't become warm at all. So 10 amp difference here, 30 amp ESC, 20 amp motor, there should not be a 150 to 190 degree temperature on this ESC. Like I said, it will not be flying on my Bixler.